good morning students okay i would like to ask you one question okay what do you do to reach school on time what do you do to reach school on time so you what are the things you will be doing you will be get up early in the morning and you will be doing your daily routines right and your mother will prepare your food for you and your father will drop you in the school otherwise uh, your school van will come and pick up you right so by the help of your parents only you will be reaching a school on time right so if your parents did not help you like if your mother did not prepare a food okay and and if your father did not drop you in the school always a school van did not come and pick up you so you will be uh, late in this school you won't reach this school on time so by by the help of your parents only you will be reaching a school on time right okay so a uh, gaya and kusen so we have seen the lesson right in lesson 3 learning together we have seen a uh, gaya kusen and rama story no so so gaya and kusen go to school together so they are going to a school together okay they get ready on time to catch the school bus so they go they are going to the school bus so for that they are getting ready okay they uh, they get ready on time to catch the school bus okay so these are the by this way only you will be reaching a school on time right okay so now see uh, this is a poem okay uh, the poem gaya has written a poem let's read it okay a uh, gaya she has written a poem so this is a poem okay you see in the picture so this is a poem the title of the poem is sing a mad rhyme okay all of you repeat it sing a mad rhyme okay the title of the poem is sing a mad rhyme so it was written by a gaya to it's a simple poem only okay the gaya has written for you okay so before entering into the story poem poem uh, i would like to ask you one question what subjects do you like the most there are five subject no so which subject do you like the most okay i hope you are you you are liking maths very much okay maths is very 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 important in our life okay it's a basics for everyone so in our life what are the things we have we, we are using the maths maths related things we are using in our daily life what are the things for the measurement we are using that's a okay for measurement money for bill payment budget time in counting so these are the things the max is there so for the measurement here max is there money bill payment budget calculation time in counting there are several things so all around us we are we will be having only a max so with the help of the we, if we know the max only we can survive in this world so max is one of the basic things okay in this poem also we are going to see a same only that is a max so max related things we are going to see in this poem what what we are learning in the max what are the things we are learning in the max like that we are going to see the poem now i am going to read the poem okay gaya has written a poem okay let's read it so this is a poem okay i am going to read that listen okay add some in take some away do some maths every day okay add some in so add some means addition okay add some in means addition so if you are having a five pence okay you are having a five pence and your parents give you another five pence now how much do you have you will be having 10 pence right so this is a addition okay add some in means addition okay take some away take some away means subtraction subtraction is take some away okay that's known as a subtraction so you are having now a 10 pence so already you are having a 5 pence and your parents has give you another 5 pence so totally you are having now a 10 pence in your hand so with the, you are having now a 10 pence okay so you you are you you have give a 5 pence to your friends now how much do you have you are having a 10 pence okay now you give a 5 pence to your friend so how much do you have now you will have you will be having only 5 pence only that is take some away that is subtraction so addition and subtraction yeah, that that is a main thing in maths right 
okay do some maths every day every day we will be doing some maths so you you think of and see while you are measurement you will be doing maths in time in counting in bill payment everything in every day we will be doing some of the maths that's what they are saying do some maths every day okay add some in means addition okay take some away means subtraction okay do some maths every day every day we have to do some maths add some in means addition take some away means subtraction okay count again count backwards count in nines use a number line okay count ahead count ahead means forward okay forward counting how you will be counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you will be counting forward only no so that is known as ahead okay new words ahead ahead means for the forward okay ahead means forward okay so ahead means what further forward ahead means forward so you'll be counting what you'll be counting forward only okay like 1 2 3 like that you'll be counting forward only okay count backward count backward means so if the numbers are written in the ascending order okay if your teacher asks you to write in a descending order means you'll be writing from the backward only so if the numbers are in ascending order so ascending order means what a smaller to a bigger number okay now the teacher asked to write in a descending order descending order means largest to smallest so you will be writing from a backward only okay you will be writing from backward only for the descending order count backward means uh, for we will be using it in a ascending and descending order okay backward means towards back okay backward means towards the back so backward means what back towards the back ahead means forward forward okay backward means towards the back so in ascending order descending order will be following a backward okay while you are writing in a descending order you will be writing from the back only so if the numbers are given in the ascending so if your teacher asks to write in a descending means you will be writing from the backward only so uh, so only they are given a count backward count in nines count in nines means nine table that is 9 18 27 like that that is a nine table you have to count in nines that is a nine table 9 18 27 36 like that okay use a number line use a number line number line you will be studying a number line right what's a number line so this is a line so which consists of a number starting from zero zero one two three four five six etc you will be having for that you have to put an arrow mark okay so it's a line which consists of a number from zero okay from zero to several numbers at the end uh, you have to put an arrow mark so this is a number line okay number line so this is a number line so you have to use a number line what's the purpose of the number line number line will help for the uh, will be studying in a lower classes in order to uh, teach the addition and subtraction we will be using a number line okay for the addition and subtraction in your lower classes you will be using a number line so i think now the number line will come for you in math subject the number line is there i think so okay so here what they are given in this second stanza have to count ahead ahead means forward counting we will be counting only forward count backward means backward in descending order we will be counting backward count in nines means that's nine table 9 18 27 36 like that okay use a number line the max is max which consists of a number lines okay in third stanza bell pit shapes land more or less 
Till the time, sing a max rhyme. So build with shapes. What are the shapes you have in max? Square, rectangle, triangle, circle, cone, cube, cuboid. So these are, are several shapes you have, right? So we can learn max by building the shapes also, okay? Learn more or less, okay? So more or less means that is greater than, lesser than, okay? This is greater than, lesser than. So in max you will be, uh, be learning which is greater, which is smaller, which is more, which is less. That's what they are saying. Build with shapes, learn more or less. That is greater than, lesser than. What is more, what is less, we will be learning in the max, okay? Tell the time. So the max which is also teach you how to see the time. Okay, you will be, I know at, the, at your stage you know how to see the time. You know how to see the time. So the max it will teach you how to see the time also. Okay, sing a max rhyme. Okay, we will be hearing a Tamil rhymes, English rhymes. So this is a max rhyme. So in max there is also a rhyme. So this is a max rhyme they are saying. So you have to sing a max rhyme. So this is a max rhyme. Have to sing a max rhyme. So they are given here. So what are the things they are given here? So the max is placed in this poem. Uh, they are telling about the importance of the max. Okay, in first stanza they are telling about the addition and subtraction. In second stanza they are telling about uh, you have to count a forward and a backward and you have to count in nines. That is a nine table and you have to use a number line. Number line, it's a line which consists of a number starting from a zero. Okay, it will be helpful for doing addition and subtraction. And what are the things the max has taught you? The, the max has taught you how to uh, how to build with shapes and also how to what are the things that is more or less which is more and which is less that is greater than lesser than and it will also teach you the time so these are the things the the max has consist of okay so once again i am reading the poem add some in take some away do some max every day count again count backward count in nines use a number line build with shapes learn more or less tell the time sing a max rhyme okay add some in means that is addition take some away means subtraction have to do some max every day okay count ahead means forward counting okay count backward means backward counting that will be useful in ascending and descending order while writing ascending and descending order will be counting backward okay count in nines means that is a nine table use a number line so this is a number line it's a line which consists of a number starting from a zero okay then a max it also teach you how to build with shapes and it will teach you how to uh, so that is greater than lesser than okay learn more or less means which is greater which is smaller greater than lesser than and it will also teach you how to see the time and this is a max rhyme you have to sing the max rhyme okay so uh, the homework for today is you have to uh, study these new words and write on it and go through the poem i hope you understand the poem thank you